Hello, this is Vern, and if you're craving deep and passionate love in your life, in today's video, I'm going to reveal the top four feminine virtues you can cultivate and express that will make a man want and need you more. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to another edition of VernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered women, how you can attract the man you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or silly techniques. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to attract your ideal life partner without wasting more time, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. Imagine, if you will, that there's a deep, bright light inside of you that is constantly burning and it's guiding you to crave a specific form of love. It won't settle with a mediocre relationship and it won't settle for a guy who can't express himself in a respectful, emotionally and spiritually connected way. Now, because what you want is extraordinary and because what you want is not the bulk of what's out there, you need to understand what is the right seed you need to plant and what are the ideal atmospheric conditions soil, wind, rain, that will allow that seed to turn into a tree and then a forest. That is the relevance of the four virtues I'm going to share with you today. And the greatest thing about these four virtues is that they not only work for attracting an amazing guy into your life, but they also work for you to develop a stronger relationship and grow in passion through time instead of that fading away. Now, before I get started, if you want to go deeper than I can share in this video, on the first link on the description of this video, you'll see a page that looks like this. You can enter your name and email and start watching a free training that I created for you that will show you how you can take these concepts beyond your intellectual understanding into the expression and the embodiment in your life. Expressing these virtues will make the difference between a man wanting to connect with you and passing you by between someone feeling the inclination to ask for your number or put you in the friend zone. The first one is openness, but I want to describe it to you in a way that you can understand it more deeply from the perspective of a man. Imagine that you're a man and you're walking down a path. And on this path, you sense two predominantly different types of plants. The first one is going to be a thorny bush. And think about what that feeling that you get when you see a thorny bush close to you. Does it invite you to go deeper and closer? Or does it cause some sense, maybe repulsion in some way, because you don't want to be prickled? Imagine that instead of that thorny bush, you see a beautiful, fragrant, blossoming flower in front of you. Does that make you feel compelled to get closer? Does that create a feeling of openness for you? One secret that I'm about to share with you that can make a huge difference in your capacity to really focus on what's most important in your connections with men. Men, first and foremost, want to feel intensely alive. If you're not creating a sense of openness in the way you show up, in your energy, in your body, in your breathing, then he's not going to feel that level of heightened intensity, which is a predominant factor that makes him want to go the distance. When you go out and about, when you go to a coffee shop, when you go to the grocery store, when you pick up your clothes at the dry cleaners, what is the feeling of openness that you're creating? Are you creating a space where a man can approach you, connect with you and start a conversation? Or are you showing yourself guarded in a way that he would have to go through chains and maybe some padlocks before he can reach and get a feel for where you are? If you want to specifically focus on how to create more openness in your life, focus on two things. Number one, focus on being more generous with your smile. Your smile, generously expressed, can make the difference between a man across the room not noticing you or noticing you and wanting to go walk across to connect and have a conversation with you. Make an effort to smile with more generosity in the next few days. And you don't have to fake it. Think of something or someone that makes you feel grateful and instantly you feel the need to smile. The second one is I want you to focus on your breath. When you feel nervous, when you feel shy, when you feel tightening, when you see a guy that you feel maybe is too good for you, 
even though it's not true, but that fe it feels that way. I want you to, instead of doing whatever it is you usually do, to take deep breaths and feel more present and grounded and allow that energy and allow that invitation to make him want to connect with you. Second virtue that men need like oxygen is emotional courage. Think about emotional courage as divided in three different segments. The first one is the capacity for you to feel your emotions. Instead of pushing them down, instead of being so guarded, allowing yourself to feel takes courage. Allowing yourself to feel is one of the strongest ways that you can tap into your feminine. As a matter of fact, I'll go on a limb and say that you cannot be in your feminine if you're not connected to your feelings. So by having the courage to let yourself know what's happening in here, being curious about what's happening instead of pushing it down, will allow you to be more connected to your feminine, which is a strong magnetism principle as you go out and about in your life. The second thing that emotional courage will do for you is it will give you the clarity of what you need and the capacity to express your needs in a way they can be met. So if you're in contact with your emotions and then you have the courage to express what you need, the guy will know what he needs to do and how he needs to guide himself to be able to connect with you and get closer. If you don't have the capacity to express your needs, even though you have needs, he won't know how to win. The third thing and the most important one by far of the ones that I'm describing to you right now, why emotional courage is so attractive to men is because emotional courage is the one virtue that will allow you to express your uniqueness. It takes courage to express who you are. It takes courage to say, state clearly and unequivocally what you love and what you hate, what turns you on, what turns you off, what makes you feel hot and cold, metaphorically speaking. There's far too many women who've connected with me throughout the years who are having a hell of a time, meaning a difficult time, attracting the right partner but they're going out into the world trying to be like everybody else, trying to not ruffle the feathers, trying to not make too many waves. And as a result of doing that, when the guy sees them, all he sees is more of the same. Plain vanilla ice cream instead of Rocky Road or pistachio or some unknown and exotic flavor that is the color of who you really are inside. So my recommendation, if you hear me out on this point, is that you allow a little bit more of your uniqueness irrespective of what you think he might think of you to come out into the world. Because the truth is, when your expressiveness and uniqueness comes out, the right man will feel it in his bones and his heart, and he'll want to connect with you. Guys who are not up to what you're into will go away on their own. You want to be that person that people know close more quickly if they're the right fit for or not and expressing your uniqueness which requires emotional courage will allow him to see you in your full colors third virtue that men crave like oxygen is emotional vulnerability which is a feeling of emotional exposure that carries within it a degree of risk and uncertainty so here's what i mean when you share the truth of what you feel and who you are, there is the risk that the person in front of you will judge you, will reject you, will think less of you. But there's also another risk, the risk of him feeling more connection, more devotion, more uniqueness, and more emotional attachment to you. Vulnerability similar to taking all your clothes in front of your partner, handing them a set of freshly sharpened knives and trust that they won't use them to hurt you, which is why it's so important, as I talk about vulnerability, that you do this as a gradual process. Too many women share everything all at once, and they're surprised when the guy doesn't have the capacity to respect them or to understand them. So you share a little bit more than you usually share, but then you gauge the connection and the interaction, and as he shows respect, as he shows more interest, as he shows more presence, you show more. I'm gonna share with you when you think about how hard it is and how difficult it is and, and because sometimes it triggers feelings of inadequacy or shame and you feel yourself about not to do this, why it's so important for you to go the distance and become vulnerable with someone. The first reason is because vulnerability is gonna trigger trust and create trust between you and him. If you've ever seen the founder of Facebook now called Meta, it's hard to trust a man that displays very little emotion like an android. So think about it this way. If you express more of who you are and your vulnerability, he can trust you more. And if he can trust you more, 
then he can also display more of himself and you can trust him more because vulnerability also triggers reciprocity. Reciprocity is the process through which you share something deep about yourself and the person feels compelled to share something deep about himself. And then that in turn propels you to share more about yourself and it's like a ping pong match back and forth that allows both of you to get to know each other more deeply and create a greater sense of friendship and trust. The third reason why you wanna do this is because vulnerability is also going to trigger in a man a capacity for serving and for protecting. If you want a guy who's really interested in serving you, if you want a guy who wants to step up and be a protective awesome man, you need to be willing to share what's happening inside of you because if he doesn't feel that there's something here where he can step up and be, whether it's holding space or holding you or being strong for you, he will not go the distance. The fourth virtue that men crave like oxygen is self-worth. But I'm gonna show you an example to accentuate how this works inside a man's heart. Imagine that you've been wanting to purchase your dream home. You've been saving for years and lo and behold, something comes up in the market that you feel so compelled to go and see. Now the price is not listed, but you take the risk anyway. So you ask your realtor to take you to this place, you arrive and it just feels right in your heart. The home is beautiful. The kitchen is the one you've been dreaming about. The swimming pool makes you feel like you're in heaven. And when you feel all these emotions and you finally say, okay, hit me what is the purchase price and the realtor says to you you know what the owners of this home said that so long as you hit something above a hundred thousand that you can buy it from them well maybe initially you get so excited because you say wow this home is worth millions for a hundred thousand what a steal if you're a smart person the second immediate question is whoa hold on a second what is wrong with this home why would someone sell a home that's worth millions for a hundred thousand to a stranger? Unless a person is a philanthropist, which may not be the case, there may be something wrong with a home. So here's why it's so important for you to understand your self-worth because men will value you in direct proportion to how you value yourself. Men will treat you in direct proportion to how you allow them to treat you. When you understand your self-worth, then you have the ability to actualize it. The way you actualize self-worth is through standards and boundaries. So think about it. What does it take for a guy to ask you out? Does he just ask you out and you say yes? Or is there a specific way of asking you out and a series of questions you want to ask before you say yes? What does it take for a guy to kiss you? What does it take for a guy to make out with you? What does it take for a guy to become your boyfriend or become exclusive with you? What does it take for the guy to marry you? What are the standards across the process that allow him the understanding that A, you're valuable and B, he has to work to get what he wants and so do you, right? But he, if he's pursuing you, he has to understand that you have value. And the reason why it's so important for a man is because men will value what they have in direct proportion to the work they put into obtaining it. I'm not asking you to play hard to get or to be tricky just for the sake of making it hard for him. But when you lower your standards out of fear that he won't be in your life, you let him know you're not valuable. You are that house that seems like a great deal, but there's probably something wrong if somebody's selling it for that price. That's the power in you understanding your standards and your boundaries. So I love for you to start thinking about some specific standards that you want to step into as you connect with men. If you enjoy this video and you want to take the concepts deeper and actualize them instead of just in your mind, in your daily experience, you can hit the first link on the description of this video and you can watch my free training that will show you how to do just that. If you enjoy the video, click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new episodes. I'd love to hear what's the biggest takeaway. So if you want to share in one of the comments on the video, what's the biggest takeaway for you? I'd love to read each one of them personally. If you're still listening to me and you've been watching videos, reading books, doing the law of attraction, going to therapy, and you're not getting the type of love you want, you might benefit from hand-holding and coaching. Second link on the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for allowing me into your phone, into your home, into your heart. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.